Tomorrow, big game against St Mirren. Defeat's even an option, is it? No, it's a massive game. As I say, it's a game that it's a game we're looking forward to. It's a game that we we really need to go and uh, get get three points. And St Mirren, obviously, they have had a pretty difficult season as well. So it's going to be one of these ones where it's going to be kind of ham on tongs, I would imagine. Do you, is that how you see the game going as well? As I say, they've not started great. They're a bit like um, a bit like us. Uh, but watching them, they're, they're a good side. Uh, like you say, you're not taking a point off a Celtic if you're not a good side. And it's a, a game that we've watched them, I think we can we can capitalise on our strengths and that as well. And it's a game that we believe we can go and win. Over the last few weeks, you've played the likes of Celtic and Hearts and Lovens. So these have kind of been the forum teams in the league. Do you see, see the St Mirren are you know, in a dip as well at the moment, that your approach to the game might be different to the way that you approach the games against Hearts and Celtic and the likes? I think every game we approach the same, we approach it in the same manner, we approach a game that we want to go out and we, we want to win the games um, against Hearts and Celtic and that's been difficult, um, but we do believe that the games as well, that you need to pick up points, um, as I say it never happened, but we just take each game at a time and, and try build on that. The league itself is obviously a huge period of time that it's going to be covered over. It's probably more akin than to a kind of marathon, maybe rather than a sprint, as you would think. Do you think it's important to keep the, the message in the changing rooms that even though it's a dip at the moment, on the horizon obviously the good times will come? As I say, we've just got to take it a game at a time. There's no point of looking too far ahead there, Sel. There's no point of looking at the past. Um, what's happened's happened. We just need to kind of look at the next game and, and build on that and look to get the three points. How are things in the, the dressing room at the moment? What's the kind of atmosphere and, and the camaraderie and things? How's well, we've got a good dressing room. We've got a great bunch of boys in there. Um, everybody's really together. As I say, it's just been unfortunate that things haven't went our way. Um, but as I say, we've got a really good dressing room and we, we all believe we can turn this around. In the last month, there's a new manager that, that's come in who has kind of brought in new techniques and, and new um, kind of ways of doing things. What sort of buy-in has that have the players had to the new manager's kind of approach that he's brought in with them? I think at any club with a new manager coming in or even with the old manager, as I say, we've got a good bunch of boys in there every day. You really need to buy into what the manager wants and if you don't do what the manager wants, you're not going to play. Um, so as I say, everybody in the dressing room is there, everybody's wanting to work hard for them, everybody's dying to listen and learn and, and want to get on that football pitch. One of the important things especially when things aren't going as good as the backing of the fans. How important has the backing that you've got from the fans been to the players in the dressing room? The fans have been fantastic. Even at Motherwell at the weekend, they're, they're coming out in their numbers. Um, every away game they've been there in their numbers. Home game, we get a wee bit, you can hear their voices. Um, it's frustrating for them, and as I say, as players, we can only apologise to them. We come here, we want to play, we want to put on a show for them, we want to get results, and uh, as I say, the fans deserve a bit better deserve a lot better um, and as I say hopefully we can get a result this weekend for them OK St Mirren again as they haven't had the best of, of the season so far their only the, the victory has been against Dundee first game of the season so really I mean it's it's not been a good time you mentioned they're, they're quite a good team they've got a result off of Celtic and things but this you know the, the, the sense of not getting a victory does that affect obviously the both St Mirren and yourselves except from there I think confidence wise I think anybody watching will be able to see that they're not full flown confidence. Uh, confidence is a key factor. Um, but going into the game and that we believe that it's, it's something we can capitalise on and, and hopefully kick on for here. And how important is it that the games at Dens coming back and say in front of the home fans, hopefully a big crowd here, How is that the twelfth man for you guys when you get in that pitch? No, as, as I say, the fans are fantastic. The fans have been great, especially since coming here in the summer. Uh, the fans are really good away games and that turn out in their numbers. And you can hear them as well. And as I say, hopefully, hopefully get a result for them. On a more personal point of view, as I say, you came in in the summer here to Dens. How different are things here at Dens to what you've been used to in the past? Um, as I say, football's football kind of thing. You go in, you, you train, um, you work hard. And, and play football at the end of the day um, it's a fantastic club here I'm really enjoying my time here um, and just as I say hopefully results can pick up